Good afternoon, Yorktown, and welcome to the court. Today is October 20th, 2015. Let's start today's show by getting a quick update on the afternoon weather conditions with our student meteorologist. Hello Yorktown, I'm student meteorologist Lily. The time is now 12.30 and the temperature outside is 67 degrees. As you can see from the parking lot behind me, we're experiencing wind speed at 11 miles per hour, humidity at 37%, and there's a 0% chance of precipitation. It is a perfect day to go outside and enjoy the fresh air. Have yourself a wonderful day and let's take it back to you in the studio. Thanks for that update Lily. Now, let's try to put a smile on your face with the jokes of the day. Hi, my name is Kelly, and here are some jokes to remember the next time you're in a situation to tell some jokes. What type of birds are always out of breath? A puffin. What are the strongest creatures in the ocean? Mussels. I'm Kelly, and these have been the jokes of the day. Let's take it back to you in the studio. Nice job, Kelly. Now, let's get to know a student at Mildred E. Strang Middle School. Hi, my name is Angelique, and I'm on Team Y. What I like most about being a student is being around other students. My favorite subject is English because I like to read about other things. My favorite hobby outside of school is tennis. Three words that describe me is are fun, energetic, and crazy. When I grow up, I want to be a chef. That's all about me. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Angelique. I feel like I've known you forever. Now, let's go improve our vocabulary with the word of the day. Hi, my name is Amelia, and welcome to the segment dedicated to improving your vocabulary, the word of the day. Today's word is depict. Depict is a verb. Depict is defined as to portray, to represent, or show in a form of picture. Sketch and draw are synonyms for depict. In a sentence, depict can be used like this. The painter chose to depict a plain prairie landscape using bold colors and shadows. Depict! Can you use it today? Thanks, Amelia. Now, let's go to our sports report for today's 6 and 60 sports report. Great job, kids. Now let's go to the day in history. Hi, my name's Epika, and I'm going to share some facts and events that took place today in history. On October 20th in the year 1973, the Sydney Opera House was opened by Queen Elizabeth II. Based on this event, we're going to focus today's facts on Queen Elizabeth II. Did you know that Queen Elizabeth II was born in Mayfair, London, United Kingdom? Did you know that Queen Elizabeth II is 89 years old? Thanks for watching today's Did You Know? Hopefully now, you know. Thanks, kids. Now let's go to the lesson of the day. Good afternoon, Yorktown. My name is Amon, and today's lesson is from math class. Today in math class, we learned about dividing decimals. We learned to put the decimal point directly above the decimal point in the dividend when dividing decimals. We also learned that the steps to divide a decimal by a whole number are divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Once again, my name is Amon, and this has been the lesson of the day. Let's take it back to the studio. Thanks, kids. Halloween night is right around the corner, and people of all ages are deciding what they'll be on Halloween night. Sticking with the pretending, we are wondering if you could have any superhero power, what would it be and why? Let's see what the kids in the hall have to say. If I had one superpower, it would be to fly so I could see all of the countries around the world. If I had a superpower, it would be teleportation so I can switch my classes faster. If I had a superpower, it would be to have telekinesis so I can move things with my mind. If I had a superpower, I wish it would be to be lightning fast. If I had a superpower, I would be able to play baseball. If I had a superpower, it would be um, flying. Hello, Yorktown. Today's quick tip is about being responsible in the cafeteria at MESMS. The only way you can be responsible in the cafeteria is by not yelling. One way you can be responsible in the cafeteria is by not screaming. You can be responsible in the cafeteria by not running. One way we can be responsible in the cafeteria is by cleaning up after ourselves. 
You can be responsible in the cafeteria by not throwing food at other people. One way we can be responsible in the cafeteria is by listening to the lunch monitors when they're talking. One way you can be responsible in the cafeteria is by sitting in your seats. I can be responsible in the cafeteria by only eating my food and nobody else's. You can be responsible in the cafeteria by not cutting people on the line. Remember, the easy way isn't always the right way. But when you're put to the test, try your hardest and be your best. Thanks, kids. That's our show for October 20th, 2015. We would like to thank all of the students who contributed to today's episode. Please join us again tomorrow, and until then, have a great day, and remember to be safe, responsible, and respectful.